Hello, everybody, welcome back. Um, if you have never had intense tooth pain before, uh, never go through it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sitting here waiting for a pain medication to take in. Uh, I'm just. Oh, gosh. Um, so we moved, uh, I moved Carla to the, uh, front of the party again. I'm gonna leave Nicholas out because I like him just going, huh, huh, and just like falling behind me. I, I didn't want him to go back into the ball. So here we are in the incredibly cloudy seafoam island. When pushing blocks with strong push, Pokemon can get in the way. When that happens, they use Repel so I can get back to pushing with no problem. Seal. So seals are the common Pokemon in this area. Ah, oh, jumped. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to be catching new Pokemon again. That was like what, like somewhere between five and seven episodes of no new Pokemon besides a Lapras. I don't like how this, uh... how the seal is evading capture. I really don't like the way that seal sounds. She's like, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Suddenly out of nowhere, a Slobo appears. Uh, I'm gonna have to use an Ultra Ball. Oh, and? Gonna, we're gonna use a silver one. What? I hate it when uh, my throw is at a weird, uh, weird diagonal. What? That's mm, that's crap. <laughs> you all saw that it bounced off of him, and then like. A full like second later than he did his attack. I got a lot of experience for uh, capturing with an ex um with an excellent. Hermit crab. I always forget that it's considered the hermit crab Pokemon. Uh have I actually caught a slow poke? Actually really curious. Uh Starmy and Goldeen, I believe, are in the other version. I'm gonna shelter. Just met a seal, and I'm gonna get a dugong, and I have not actually found a slow poke. Do I find them here, which is the question. Where? Ugh. I just looked at shiny slowpoke and it just looked really bad. Because <laughs> it's like, in generation two, it was like a purple color. And then, in every generation afterward, there was like a lavender, which like kind of makes it blend in. Yeah, yeah, see from islands. So I guess if we are diligent enough, well, the strap was a uh, really tight around. Um. Around my arm. Ice heal. Needed. 
I always do that where I look at my computer, pull up a, uh... Surprised to find a coach trainer in a place like this? Uh, what's more surprising is that I come here every single day. There's nothing else to do but battle here. Would you like to battle? Of course you'll battle me. <laughs> I feel bad for you, dude. Then again, I also feel bad for the, uh... Trying to Yaz. Nice try, though. Uh, is he gonna have all three uh, evolutions? I wonder. Yeah, okay. Gonna switch to Alan because I can actually take on all three evolutions. I have water for the fire type. I have uh, I am electric type, so I don't take as much damage, and I have um, electric moves for the water type. <laughs> I don't know why I. I was so confused on that. Yeah, I guess he's just using the, um, the most powerful attacks from, of, that they can possibly learn. Made the noise for not very effective, but I don't know why it would. Well done. Are you gonna give me, uh, rare candies? Yeah, I figured. Don't you feel happy when you have a whole bunch of different candies in your candy jar? No, not really. <gasps> oh! Jinx! Straight throw. There you go. I star-studded cast of n noises I don't like Pokemon making. Martin wants to learn Hyper Beam. Top of Hydro Pump or Waterfall? Slightly more powerful. Can't use a move next turn. Can use a move next turn. And get stabbed. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my hydro pump. <laughs> the human shape Pokemon. I have no idea what it's like. Weird things right there. There's little like protrusions. Looks kind of unnerving. On an escape rope. Does need to leave in a hurry. 
Uh, we're gonna run away. I don't feel like catching a new, un, an additional Jinx. Okay, he's the, uh, all replenish guy. Okay, we need to, uh... Okay. Uh, gold bet. <laughs> I, I like how easy it is to run away from gold hats. Wait. Ah, it's another Jinx. Very tiny Jinx. Still a Jinx. Ah, oh, there was a dugong right there. That's mean. Oh, here it is. Just ran down here. There we go. wasn't as difficult to catch as a as its pre-evolution ironically it was just moving around a lot made me waste a lot of ultra balls yeah Pikachu is still glowing so I might as well take advantage of it Okay, let's head on down the first ladder, see where that takes us. A jinx. Great. Another ladder down. Max potion. Did I ever mention? I don't think I have. Um, there was a, one, oh, another dugong. Cool. Um, it was at one point that I was trying to make a ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald. It's uh not that interesting of a story. <laughs> Never ended up actually going through with it, but I had some ideas for what I would do with it. Uh, mostly it would uh, the story would revolve around actively being able to choose a side between the two factions and um, when you actually fight your rival whether it's May or Brendan um, they are in the other team's uniform and I just thought that that concept would have been really interesting let's go down this one The slow bro. Ice beam. Hmm. Is there anything on our team that can actually learn ice beam? So I haven't found TM2. Which really surprises me. Oh, we also have Dazzling Gleam, even though we can't learn it. Uh, Calm Mind. <laughs> Only Alan. Uh, of course. Uh, 
ice beam. I will use this on Martin. And I will replace Hydro Pump with it. Because unlike, um, because Hydro Pump does a lot of damage, uh, Hyper Beam does a lot of damage, this has 10 and can freeze. And I have effectively added a uh, ice move to my repertoire. I guess the only course is down again. Oh. A revive. Cool. Hyper Potion. Oh, what a coincidence. I was just looking for you. You know, I once heard a joke, the idea of, um, you caught a slowpoke, you travel a little bit, and then it, uh, and then it breaks out. I was like, what? <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh. Uh, okay. the other one. I don't want him to drink. I have to reset the um I have to reset those so I'm gonna leave the area and come back. Every single time uh, Nino King vanishes and then reappears and then just books it towards me, I get a little scared. Yep, this is the level. Alan feels the tension in the air and seems a little afraid. Uh, this is the level that we can fight Articuno on. We actually can take on Articuno right now. But I have effectively learned my lesson from last time. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take on the legendary birds after. I'm done with the Elite Four, and I'll do like a whole thing on it. Oh.
Oh, uh, she fills the tent. Ooh, there he is. I let the little bivalve uh, come to me. Aw, oh, that's... that's rude. Yeah, shelter. Also, an razor wind. Ah, oh, it's a normal type. Okay. Critical hand. Uh, it's a two turn attack. So it charges and then hits on the second turn. Quirk attack hits first. Fly roost. Uh, I would rather. Yeah, I'm gonna um, use Razor Wind instead of Fly. Shelter should, um, if Shelter appear right here, then there's a good chance that um, a Cloister can appear as well. Also, a uh, little bit of really cool trivia. Shelter swims backwards, just like uh, just like regular bi um five palps do. Ooh. Uh, is a tentacool. Uh, I'm gonna continue catching Shelter right here, and I'll see you guys next time.